Welcome again to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion. We will continue our topic for the electromagnetic wave. The electromagnetic spectrum covers electromagnetic waves with frequencies ranging from below 1 hertz to above 10 to 25 hertz. According to increasing frequency, the electromagnetic spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Starts with the radio waves with the lowest frequency at the longest wavelengths and in the other ends with gamma rays at the highest frequency with the shortest wavelengths. The electromagnetic waves in each of these bands have different characteristics such as how they are produced, how they interact with matter, and their practical applications. Electromagnetic waves First is radio wave. Radio waves have the longest wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. Therefore, radio waves have the lowest frequency. They are produced by making electrons vibrate in an antenna. With regards to the wavelength, radio waves can be likened to the size of a football field. Radio waves are used to transmit sound and are extremely widely used to transmit information picture over long distances and radio communication systems such as radio broadcasting, television, two-way radios, mobile phones, communication satellites, and wireless networking. Radio waves are also used for navigation in systems like global positioning system or GPS and navigational beacons and locating distant objects in radio location and radar. They are also used for remote control and for industrial heating. The radio waves carry the information across space to a receiver where they are received by an antenna in the information extracted by the modulation in the receiver. The use of the radio spectrum is strictly regulated by the government, coordinated by the telecommunication, which allocates frequencies to different users for different uses. Next is microwaves. Microwaves have smaller wavelengths than the radio waves. From about 10 centimeters to 1 millimeter in the super high frequency and extremely high frequency band, they are used in satellite communications, radar, television, transmission, and cooking. Microwaves can penetrate into materials and deposit their energy below the surface. This effect is used to heat food in microwave ovens and for industrial heating and medical diathermy. Microwaves are the main wavelengths used in radar and are used for satellite communication and wireless networking technologies such as Wi-Fi. Since microwaves can penetrate the atmosphere of the Earth, this is the reason why they are used for satellite communications. Communication satellites travel around the Earth at an altitude of 35,000 kilometers above the equator. Microwave signals are transmitted by an antenna to a satellite which amplifies and retransmits the signal to an antenna in other parts of the world. This is how we communicate with the rest of the world. Microwaves are used in radar radio detection and ranging. A radar is a system consists of an antenna, transmitter, and a receiver. For terrestrial communication, microwaves are used to transmit television news, 
coverage from mobile broadcast vehicles back to the station. The news crew can also set up a small antenna to send signals to a communication satellite. This is how news are broadcasted and watched live around the world. A cell phone is a radio transmitter and receiver that uses microwaves. Cellular phones depend on overlapping network of cells or areas of land several kilometers in diameter. Each cell has its tower that receives and sends microwave signals. Microwave oven. In a microwave oven, foods absorb certain microwave frequencies very strongly. The microwaves penetrate the food being heated. It will agitate the water molecules within the food, thus creating molecular friction which then produces heat that will cook it. Infrared Infrared radiation lies beyond the red end of the visible light. It is emitted by all objects. The amount and wavelength of radiation depend on temperature. The infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum covers the range from roughly 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz or 1 millimeter to 750 nanometers. Below 500 degrees Celsius, an object emits only infrared radiation. Above 500 degrees Celsius, an object glows and emits both infrared and some visible light. Our bodies radiate infrared and under infrared camera or a night vision goggle. Our images appear in variety of colors. The differences in color determine the differences in temperature. For example, Shades of blue and green indicate regions of colder temperature and red and yellow indicate warmer temperature. Infrared can be divided into three parts, far infrared, mid infrared, and near infrared. The following are some useful applications of infrared radiation. Infrared Photographs taken from a satellite with special films provide useful details of the vegetation on the Earth's surface. Infrared scanners are used to show the temperature variation of the body. They can be used for medical diagnosis. Infrared remote controls are used in TVs, video, cassette recorders, and other electronic appliances. Some night vision goggles use infrared. Some autofocus cameras have transmitter that sends out infrared pulses. The visible spectrum. Above infrared frequency comes visible light. By definition, visible light is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum the human eye is the most sensitive to. The light that excites the human visual system is a very small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. When white light passes through a prism, it is separated into its constituent colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors do not distinctly separate, but they continuously change from red to violet. Red color has the longest wavelength from among these colors and violet has the shortest. A rainbow shows the optical, visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Infrared, if could be seen, would be located just beyond the red side of the rainbow with ultraviolet appearing just beyond the violet end. This is the visible spectrum. Our eyes are sensitive to electromagnetic waves of wavelengths that range from This is the range of wavelengths of white light. Thus, 
the spectrum of white light is therefore called the visible spectrum. Table shows the wavelengths of the different colors that constitute the white light. Aside from sight, there are other important uses for visible light. We concentrate visible light to make lasers to use in everything from surgery to CD players to laser pointers. Visible light waves also make our TV, computer, and cell phone screens work. Visible light can be used as an ID system in different places such as buildings and subways. Hope that you learned something from my discussion. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion. Thank you and God bless everyone.